This female patient suffers from regurgitation, heartburn, and severe cough. White light endoscopy reveals an island of heterotopic gastric mucosa at the 6 o'clock position. Virtual chromoendoscopy using FICE enables an increased demarcation of the gastric inlet patch to the surrounding esophageal squamous epithelium. Dye-based chromoendoscopy with Lugol's solution stains normal esophageal epithelium brown, while heterotopic gastric mucosa is not stained, thereby enabling exact demarcation of the gastric inlet patch to the surrounding esophageal tissue. To exclude dysplasia, biopsy should be taken from the central part of the lesion and from any macroscopic suspect area. This patient is submitted to our endoscopy unit because of recurrent cough and severe dysphagia. Subsequent to the esophageal intubation, a fibrinous lesion is visible at the 3 o'clock position. Water is inflated by using the water flush of the endoscope in the attempt to remove the fibrinous exudates from the mucosal surface. An island of heterotopic gastric mucosa becomes visible in the lower left part of the endoscopic image. After air insufflation, the lumen opens wide and another inlet patch at the upper part of the endoscopic image becomes obvious. One can clearly recognize a peptic stricture caused by the acid-producing heterotopic gastric mucosa. The stricture was dilated using savory bougies up to 17 mm, and the patient was put on oral acid-suppressive therapy 40 mg BID.